What's good, y'all? Hope you guys are doing well. We are back, and today we'll be doing a tag video, and we'll be showcasing a new soap. No idea how the shape's gonna go, but I'll go over the soap in a second. Might as well, uh, very nice. Might as well get that photo lather, put it to good use. Super slick. Um, for the soap scent, we'll be going with Batavia Barber by Oaken Lab. This is in the V3, blade, three, V3 base. As you guys can tell by the look of it, or the name rather, it is a barber shop. It's got some imaginary notes on there. 32 degrees, <clears throat> uh, I don't know whether it's Fahrenheit or Celsius, but <laughs> uh, rustling fan. Worn leather and a fresh towel, so it's it's kind of meant to emulate these, uh, I guess, scents. For the brush, we'll be going with my Black Eagle Elephant HT1, and with the razor, none other than the Max Sprecher 8 8 Quarter Hollow with the V Notch. Uh, my good buddy, let me start lathering. Right as I start talking here, just gonna dip the tips in the water for about 10 seconds. That way the lather just kind of explodes right away. Yep. Yeah, so a um, good buddy DK, damn fine shave. I'll probably link his channel in the description below. I would check his channel out if you haven't. Um, the dude goes into like depth of, depth of like beer soap scents and kind of just <clears throat> has a good time when he shaves doesn't give a shit whatever anyone thinks which i kind of like it's kind of refreshing you know um but anyways he tagged me in a one-handed straight razor shave tag video i'm not sure if he started this tag or not honestly i forgot but here i am being a good sport we will give this a go Um, yeah, I'll go over the scent. I already went over the imaginary notes, but I'll give you the, the actual notes. Wow, this slather came together like super quick and ready. I don't need much more agitation at this point, but I'll do it because why not? Awesome brush. All right, cool. Um, yeah, so this is a very unique barbershop scent. Very unlike any other barbershop scent I've tried. Like if um like if I told you if I gave the if I put this soap up to your nose as like a blind test, and if you if I didn't tell you it was a barbershop, um you probably might not have guessed it right away. Not because it doesn't smell like a barbershop, like an actual one, but because it doesn't smell like a traditional barbershop scent like um you know things like uh sterling barbershop seville um what else comes to mind huga um though that's not really traditional either but you could tell it's um a barbershop probably because the bergamot and the oak moss presence maybe uh well the bergamot is citrus basically so yeah bergamot and oak moss they tend to give away that it's a barbershop and this one doesn't really do that, which I think is kind of a good thing because it's different. But um, anyways, the scent notes are Neroli, Bergamot, Orange, Lavender, Jasmine, Moss, Musk, Patchouli, and Leather. So the two most prominent notes to me are uh, Neroli and the Leather. And now you guys could probably understand why I think it's different. Yeah, so dialed in perfectly. So, yeah, um, it's very different, and I think that's why it's quickly becoming my favorite barber shop, the traditional alum, because my hands are always freaking slippery. So we're gonna try this one-handed <laughs> straight razor shave. See how it goes, fellas. We're like forty-five shaves in. Oh man. 
been really enjoying my straight razor shaver lately. Oops, plopping everywhere. Sorry, I gotta draw my hand again. Got lather all over my freaking hand. Um, took this to the shop mm, 10 times. No more linen for me, just straight up leather. Feeling pretty confident so far, but we're gonna try to do this uh, right hand on the left side here in about a second. Damn you, DK, for tagging me in this. <laughs> we'll say that after and if I get any cuts. It's getting challenging now. <laughs> we'll keep at it. Oh yeah, what's his name? Uh, Sun Shaves did it too. Yeah, his looks crazy. The way he came, the different angles. Zen Shaves came at it. I don't know if you guys watch uh, those West Coast shaving videos. Matt Dros, he tends to do one-handed shaves, but his skill set is insanely good. I mean, it's actually kind of working. This is where the angle gets awkward. Yeah, can't really reach. I'm talking. Holy shit, I did it. <laughs> Almost, I think. Um, let's see. Excellent. Wow. I'll get more to the scent after this pass. This is a nerve wracking pass. <laughs> but I pretty much covered it. Um, yeah, like I said, most of it is uh, uh, neroli and leather to me. You get that lavender, it's a very calming scent, like very pleasant. Um, I don't really get orange. But yeah, this is a great scent. If you're looking for a different than your standard barbershop, like you're sick of all the, no offense to the other barbershops. Some people love that. Um, if you're looking for something different, definitely check out Tavia Barber. If you don't like Neroli, but you're like open to it being challenged by challenged by it, I'd give it a shot. Neroli is like, I'm pretty sure it's a flower, if I'm not mistaken. It's a, uh, but it's not your typical, I don't know, it's very bright. Um, like Fougere Mania from Holy Cow, that to me was a Neroli bomb. This is not exactly, what the heck is going on? <laughs> this is not exactly a Neroli bomb to me, but I'd say it's most prominent and the leather is like really prominent too. If you like leather, like uh, old worn leather, um, I'd definitely give this scent a shot. Maybe a little bit bergamot in there. Um, not a ton to me, at least. Uh, but yeah, as of right now, this is my favorite uh, barbershop scent. I don't know, man, it's just different. And uh, the first time I used it, I've used it about like five times. First, maybe, yeah, maybe like four times. The first time I used it, I was like, eh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it really grew on me. I don't know what it is. Yeah, you get patchouli as well. Yep. Oh yeah. Not a ton, but it's there. You gotta really like look for it. Um, I thought it was just really well blended. It's just different. If you're looking for your standard barbershop, this is probably not for you, but um, great job thinking outside the box. Don't know what the hell I'm gonna do for this second pass. My one-handed straight rear shave. So let's see, we'll go to the easy part first. Boom, that was the easy part. <laughs> I 
kind of just go in the same direction twice on my mustache just because like other directions on my mustache will cause irritation. So we're going to go kind of like inverted here. Easy peasy. Not really. So yeah, one of the reasons why I've been off camera a lot too is because I wanted to really focus on my technique. Kind of just not have the pressure of the camera to really improve my straight razor shaves. And that's kind of been working for me for the most part. But I feel like I'm at a comfortable point. All right, no talking this part. Whoa. I'm at a comfortable point where I can finally kind of go on the camera. Um, ironically, my face felt better using this razor the last time I used it versus the Wolfman with the 1.45 gap. Um, yeah, which is kind of crazy. That razor is actually, it didn't really give me an irritation, but this to me just feels more comfortable right now. I don't know why, but that's the case. So we're gonna go in for a third pass. We're only 11 minutes in. So we're doing pretty good guys. But um, yeah, as you guys know, I really like this piece. I'll probably be using oh, uh, Lothor soaps for the rest of the week. Um, just because I got some new soaps in. I got some A&E in as well. Nothing new. Some old stuff I've been wanting to pick up. So much for freeze, right guys? <laughs> All right, just gonna clean a little bit more water here. Cool. Yeah, I'll try to upload a video every other day this week, just to see, you know, kind of get back in the rhythm, see how I feel. Against the green pass, one-handed shave tag. This is for you, DK. Hope you're watching, bro. <laughs> Feeling pretty good. Knock on wood. I must say though, the combination of the <clears throat> soap and splash of the Oaken Labs, I think it might be the best shave, uh, best post shave I've ever used in any soap. The longevity is insane and it's just, your skin feels pretty amazing. I don't know what it is. Uh, damn, gotta use my right hand or one hand. This is awkward. Somehow I did it. <laughs> Can't believe this is happening. And we are finishing up. Sorry I didn't talk much. Um, I feel like I'm comfortable enough to talk more with a straight razor, but not with one hand. <laughs> Just not there. But uh, thanks for stopping, guy, guys. Had to bang out this freaking tag. <laughs> you know. Ooh. 
do a quick little rinse. And we're good. You know it's a crazy flex when you're shaping up your... <laughs> shaping up the lines with a freaking Max Sprecher. I normally use my Camisori for this, but why not have some fun? We're done at like 15 minutes here. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, we're done, guys. Uh, let me do a quick rinse. All right, done. <laughs> wow, man. No cuts. Yeah. We're, are we BBS? We're BBS on the face. We're not BBS on the neck. Very, very close, though. We're like... A little bit of stubble here, but we're like over 95%. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty confident. This is just a beautiful scent. I would check it out, guys, if you're looking for a new barbershop scent. I think uh, either the West Coast Shaving or, and or the Razor Company will be restocking soon. Hopefully. Uh, where's the freaking splash? Here it is. Um, boom. Tommy Barber. Yeah that a little bit I did get a cut somewhere I can't oh the same spot as last time yeah. I like how the splash doesn't have alcohol but it has witch hazel so it doesn't burn your face and I don't mind the alcohol as long as it's not crazy high content alcohol where the point where it's like it's drying and it has to compete with a shit ton of glycerin and aloe to kind of balance it out but awesome, we got a nice close shave on about 24 hours of growth. Was able to complete that one-handed, right, one-handed uh, straight razor ta uh, tag. So shout out to DK with the Max Sprecher. We use the Black Eagle Hand Tied One Elephant and the Star of the Show Tavia Barber uh, by Oaken Lab. Solid shave all around, done in 15 minutes or so, not bad. All right, that's it, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.